Hey guys, this is your girl Cassie. Welcome back to my cooking channel. So today we are making lamb stew. We are making my delicious Creole recipe lamb stew. So basically, we're gonna use Haitian spices and also African spices and we're gonna make a bomb recipe. Very delicious. So let's get started. This is our ingredients. Of course, we have the lamb. So most likely I'm not going to use all of this, but I'm going to anyways wash all of them right now. This is about three pounds of lamb and it's fresh. Also, I had it out and also just so you know, it's, I have some vinegar already in the lamb uh, to clean it because remember your flavors come from the way you wash your meat. Seriously. I stand by that <laughs> and so of course I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna use one carrot two plum tomatoes uh, three potatoes I you can use whatever whether it's red or white potato so it will be fine I'm gonna use half of this um, onion here and then also half of this um, orange pepper and then I have the lime, which I'm gonna use to clean my lamb. And I have this, uh, of course, don't forget my habanero pepper. I have uh, some fresh garlic. I don't know if you can see, but I have my fresh garlic here. I also have um, some bay leaves. And um, so I'm gonna use one tablespoon of this adobo powder here. So this is what i i'm actually using for salt and then i'm using one teaspoon of um paprika this is smoked paprika and of course i have my spices here fresh spices this is haitian style spices that i made a piece so i'm using some of it i'll probably use uh one tip one teaspoon of that and some tomato paste um and I'm also using, of course, like I need vegetable oil. And um, I have my black pepper. So I decided today that I was going to uh, ground it myself because I want the pepper to be a bit more intense. And I'm going to use half of a teaspoon of that and some fresh parsley. So what we're going to do, we're going to clean our lamb. Okay. And to clean, uh, uh, to clean the lamb. What I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna have it here. Like I said, I already have vinegar in there. So I take the lime. So I'm gonna take some of the juice out because I'm gonna use it after, okay? Just, just a bit. There you go. So I have some of the juice here. And I already have uh, cut the lamb. I just want you to see it. So I take each piece of the lamb here and then I'm gonna go ahead and then clean it clean them basically again with uh, with that line okay and after I clean all of them one by one there you go here and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rinse it okay rinse my lamb uh, here so this is my last wash, okay? And for the last one, I'm using hot water instead of just cold water. So this is my last wash here. See my lamp, it looks uh, clean. So I'm gonna go ahead and drain the water here from it. There you go. Okay, that was the last before the last one. And because I just, before I do anything else, I'm um, gonna put it over here because I need to uh, clean my sink with cloth to avoid uh, cross contamination, basically. Okay? So we're gonna spice up our lamp. So I take the juice, the lime juice, I just add it here. I'm gonna go ahead and add also my smoked paprika. 
I am adding this added bowl here and of course my favorite here so I'm adding two tablespoons of my spices they are fresh herbs by the way these spices that I'm using here and these bay leaves gonna go in there right away and uh, I'm gonna use this um, fresh garlic uh, also and I'm gonna squeeze them in here before I do so I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, my black pepper here that's half of a teaspoon of this ground black pepper that I just used and let me just get my garlic so the garlic are small I just have um, three in there so I'm gonna add that six because these are uh, cloves of garlic are really small but if they were bigger I'll probably use two or three but these ones here are pretty small so that's fine and uh, I'm gonna add a bit of uh, sea salt in here as well so for now because I add that adobo I'm not gonna add a lot of salt okay so because we want to control our salt we don't want it to be too salty and I'm just mixing everything and it smells really delicious um, already as you guys know I like to brag about the smell of my spices and all of that and uh, so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let this sit uh, for a few minutes and then I'm gonna go ahead and prepare like for the sauce because we are making it very sure okay so let it sit here for a few minutes and let's prepare like our sauce here so to prepare for my sauce i'm gonna go ahead and blend this here so i have one and a half um of these plum tomato that i had here and i have half a cup of chopped onions and half a cup of these uh, um, orange pepper bell pepper and I'm gonna go ahead and blend uh, both all of them together and I add a bit of parsley here fresh parsley so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna brown our meat before we uh, do the sauce but before I do that I forgot I need a bit of uh, curry in here because I need uh, that to help me brown the meat better and as you can see, so I didn't boil it or anything like that. I'm not boiling it before because we don't want it to be too hard. So we're just gonna brown it without um, without boiling it first. What I just did, I just put my oil, it's really warm, okay? So I'm gonna take the meat, I'm just gonna place it in here and I'm gonna let it side of them and as you can see I'm doing it also with no juice or anything like that because I just want to brown the meat okay and I'm just gonna let this side brown with um for maybe two minutes this side before I turn it okay so I think my meat is ready right now so I'm gonna take it out you see it's brown so that's all I wanted to do. Wait about uh, four minutes to try to get it like well brown. So I'm gonna take it out and prepare my sauce. Oh, so let's make our sauce here. It smells so good. So I'm using the same oil that I used to brine the meat. I'm gonna go ahead and use two tablespoons here of uh, of this tomato paste. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and there we go. And just have like everything, have it cooked just a bit here. So the reason the way that I do like my sauce that way, it's gonna give my sauce like the consistency that I need. It's not really for color, it's more like for consistency. Um, that's why I blend the other ingredients um, that way here okay and so what I'm gonna do and that was like maybe two minutes I'm gonna go ahead and add that sauce here I'm gonna add this oh, smells so good 
This is how it looks here. Okay. And I'm adding also the meat sauce, the leftover meat sauce here. And I'm going to go ahead and let this cook um, for five minutes or so before I add water in anything else. Okay, so this is how my sauce looks, okay? And it's been uh, cooking for five minutes or so. So I add a bit of uh, white pepper in there and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add just a little bit of my spices, really tiny bit, not even quarter of a teaspoon because I do not want a whole lot of salt, okay? Look how beautiful this looks. And so what I'm going to do, and this is my lamb that was already brined, I'm going to go ahead and add it here because I want it to be cooked. So it's not cooked yet. So the lamb is gonna cook with the sauce because the sauce is gonna need more time to cook, okay? To totally cook. This is how it looks. So I'll rinse the blender. I get like all this juice and also this juice from the meat. All of these are flavor. And so what you want to do, you want to add water to cover the meat, okay? Because now we want our meat to uh, totally cook. So we're gonna cook this here, like the sauce. Oh, look, see the consistency? So we're gonna cook it for 30 minutes or so. In the meantime, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add also my potatoes. I cut them, okay, in four, but I may have like take them out because uh, they might cook before the sauce um, totally done or the meat cook so I might take it out so there you go I'm gonna let this cook for 30 minutes for now and we will be back and then we're gonna let it cook in medium heat here so I had a piece of that paper here the habanero pepper I had a little piece of it in the um, in the blend that I made like the spice blend so I'm gonna go ahead and add it here okay in the sauce the rest of it and just let it cook in here basically so it's been 25 minutes this is our look the way our sauce look so what i'm gonna do okay i'm gonna take out the uh, potatoes because they already cook and i'm gonna go ahead and taste our meat and it's definitely meant only get 15 minutes or so for them to be fully cooked. It's cooked, but it's a little bit hard. So we need it to be fully cooked here. Yeah? So I'm gonna take 15 more minutes and then I'm gonna take the potatoes out so they don't break into pieces in there. We can always put it put them back in once the meat is totally cooked. And I'm gonna go ahead and taste also for me this is perfect the taste the flavor everything is okay it's just a matter of the meat uh, to be totally cooked and the sauce to be a little bit thicker than it is right now this is how it looks and we'll be right back this is it guys our soup i'm calling it soup but our uh, stew is done this is how it looks I'm gonna go ahead and put all the description for you guys below. Remember to subscribe. I add the potatoes back in by the way. Subscribe and thank you for watching. Remember to tag me if you try the recipe or leave a comment. And thank you for watching again. See you guys next time. Ta da!